Warren, big three points against Bath City. You must be delighted after that one. Yeah, I was confident getting into it. Look, I was disappointed um, the other night and I come off the players a little bit. But uh, I'm delighted for the players at this football club and the people on the board um, and behind the scenes because some people think it comes at 12 o'clock and you go home at 7. But you don't know how hard it is when you're not winning games. And I said to you, the boys have never given up. I, I said this earlier, we've, we've been in games. Every game we're competitive. But you just need that little bit of luck at the, the, the time. Christy runs in, hits a bar on the side of the bar, hits it too well. But I'm delighted for everyone associated with the football club today to get the three points because Bath are a good side, tough team. Um, I think that's only, they were, they were coming in this game one defeat in six, which was last week. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm pleased for everyone associated today to go and get that win and especially a clean sheet um, in, in the win. We're, not, we're under pressure. The lads really dug in, didn't they? And um, look at the, fo- the formation and, and the lineup today. Manny Parry coming back in the side, playing a little bit of an unfamiliar role just in front of the back four. And he was brilliant today, wasn't he? I thought Manny was outstanding, I'm being honest. I thought, you know, people raised their eyebrows and being honest with my own staff whenever I looked at it um, to, to do it, which is what I want. I've got a great staff around me, great, honest people. And that's what I want, challenged. But I just thought Manny's one of them. I've watched him lately, he cares. He's honest, he's around the boys. And he's a big presence, big character in the changing room. Um, and when the chips are down at times, that's what you need, your big characters. And I thought he was outstanding today. But, uh, you know, it gives you that wee bit of security. We've pushed Donny up one, and, and Donny's been fantastic the last few months. And, um, no, I'm really, uh, really pleased for everyone to get the win. And the winning goal, I mean, we've been speaking for, for a couple of months now about getting that win here since the first one since New Year's Day. We didn't care if it came off someone's backside or whatever. And it was a bit like that, wasn't it? It was a bit scrambly, the goal. I think we looked at the replay and it hits a couple of bodies before, of Bath players before it goes in. But that's sometimes that's what it needs. A hundred percent. Look, at the end of the day, goals are goals. Goals win games. You keep clean sheets. We've got a goal today. And uh, look, Anto Karhak goes in. You look at the one down there, as you say, Christy hitting it hits a bar. Um, so... I, I don't care. Whenever you're down there, it's hard, as I say, dude. But the boys have uh, the boys have performed today. You know they haven't they haven't shied away. Um, and as I say, the employees for them to to go and get a result in the clean sheet. Get up the wings. And at the other end, uh, Yusuf Mersin in, in goal. You talk about um, staff staying after hours. I mean, that was the case of that last night, wasn't it? Because there was a real no, panic mode on to get that, make sure that could happen. That, that's why I said people think you turn up from twelve and go home at seven on a Saturday. But, you know, Mr Cook in there, um, you know, on the board, as I said to you, it wasn't happening. Watford have been brilliant with Miles, but Miles has got a little bit of a, a, a tear in his, um, his hip flexor. And we're running around with, with, and it only come at the event yesterday at one o'clock and still didn't have a goalkeeper in by six. But I want to thank the hard work with people behind the scenes. Uh, Maidstone have been brilliant um, for what they have done. So I... Um, I'm really pleased, as I said to you, the club to get it over the line. And, and I know Yusuf had him at Crawley. Took him out to Bulgaria when we trained for a few weeks. And, uh, and I know a club come in for him on deadline day to try and get him. So I'm just pleased that he's come in. He's kept a clean sheet. And, uh, you know, moving forward, the people behind the scenes today, uh, that, that, that's for them because they certainly worked hard. Uh, we've got Dylan Gavin in as well uh, on Thursday. Uh, Daniel Nkaruma as well, but he was missing today. Can we expect to see him back on Tuesday? Yeah, we do. We needed to get him in before the deadline, but Dan's had a little bit of an injury. But the boys' faces lightened up whenever he walked in. Um, so I was really, really pleased, you know, the strength. And I tried to get another one in the deadline, um, and I couldn't. But Dylan will come in, Dylan will get fitter. He, he's not played in a while, but he'll run around the kid. He's honest. And uh, I, I, But I'm really pleased, as I say, for the boys' chi. You know, I said to him during the week there, standards, I thought he was outstanding today. His defensive um, abilities more um, is what I'm concerned about than going forward. He's got it going forward. But he's, uh, he took it on the chin today and uh, I'm really pleased for him today because he, uh, he put in a standard performance uh, with the same the rest of the boys. And Sadiq Balarabe is another one who, who was missing after last week. Uh, how is he? Is he someone that we'd be looking at over the next week or so? Or is it a bit longer? Yeah, we've just got to be careful with him. He's obviously got a bit of a bit of a hammy. Um, and you know what? It's probably not playing the while in the intensity that we want to train at. Um, but hopefully we'll have a couple off the, the treatment bed. And we've got, you know, games coming up thick and fast. We've got chipping them again on Tuesday night. Um, but look, the big thing was to get the result today. Get the victory today in the clean sheet as well. And uh, we'll worry about the next game night tomorrow. And just finally, seven games to go now. Um, it was a potentially a little bit half looking over our shoulder after last week. But is that now a real shot in the arm when it comes think, to the um, running now? I think people thought we were looking over our shoulder. But when you were here last year and you seen when it was out of our hands to it being in our hands, uh, don't look, you've jumped up to 15th today. 
Especially this season, we want to be competitive. But I, I don't listen to outside noise because I can't. I said this, I, I can't. I can only affect what's in that changing room, what's in around me. And um, I thought they were outstanding today. I don't, I don't look at it. There's a lot of football to be played. We've done nothing yet. Um, we've just, it's given us a, a win. It's given us a, a couple of positions um, higher. But we've done nothing. I don't look at anything like that. No, there's, there's what seven games to go. That's all I focus on. Whatever. Thank you.